We've got the ultimate 1967 Corvette here, folks. It is the coupe. It is black, red, red leather interior, pipes, red lines, bolt-ons. It's a 435 horse, power steering, power disc brakes, has a new air conditioning system. Can you build a better 67 Corvette? This one's restored to show quality. Go to volocars.com. That's where you can read uh, descriptions on 200 cars. That's where you find the price tags, along with a monthly finance option as well. But right now, join me, buckle up, let's go for a spin. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon so you're notified when the new videos are posted. Uh, this is a car technically from my dad's collection. He owned it uh, three, four, or five years ago, something like that. Uh, at that time, we sent it to CC Corvette. He spent $10,000 just getting everything dialed in real nice for himself. I uh, he did sell the car. We just reacquired the car back. The gentleman that we sold it to rebuilt the motor, transmission, and rear end. This car is stunning inside and out, so let's get right to it. If you watch all the videos of the uh, Corvette Coupes, I tell you, absolutely awesome. This line that goes down the middle, the curved window, the boat tail design, absolutely fantastic. Probably one of the best designs of any car of all time. This is artwork on wheels. The body is fantastic and it's restored at least four or five years ago, and it's black and it still looks like a mirror. I don't see any cracks, no damage. It's absolutely laser straight, fantastic. No issues, no cracking on the pillar. The door fits all the way around. This goes right up into the roof. Opens effortlessly, shuts like a new car. Absolutely straight, no cracks, no damage has the Stinger hood on it. The headlights fit really well. The corners of the headlight doors match the corner of the body, spot on. All this fits square, flush, beautiful. I don't see any damage, cracks. I mean, typically you'll see some body work starting to show through or shrink in the paint. Not on this one. I don't see anything but a black mirror. Try this door. Same thing, effortless, shuts like a new car. So the body is amazing. The paint is laid out like glass. Of course, it's going to have fingerprints on it every time you turn around. So I was in here just wiping it down before we started. And I looked at the paint pretty closely. And uh, I don't see a flaw. Actually, nope, there's this one little nick right here. I mean, a tiny little speck. Not saying there aren't others, but the car is like black glass. Now, the trim tag that's on there says it's a factory black car with red interior. The documented, the judged, verified car like this would be $300,000, $350,000. We're not asking anywhere near that. The numbers and codes all match up. Uh, they all, you know, the dates, the codes, the, the tags, everything uh, matches the car as you see it, with the exception of the air conditioning added, but it is not a judged car. Um, the glass was replaced, crystal clear glass. Out of my father's entire collection is the only one that I've seen where the rear window is new. Even the stainless moldings are polished like chrome, fits real nicely, door handles, mirror, uh, all new glass. The red stripes painted on, smooth to the touch. You don't even feel it. it has the 427 emblems, all the bumpers, the cross flags, you name it, it all looks like new. Side pipes, you open up those three carbs and you're shifting those gears and you're hearing those pipes, you're gonna be in heaven. It is absolutely awesome. As the optional 15 inch bolt-on aluminum wheels, they look brand new. I think my dad might've put those on. BF Goodrich radial red line tires, so it's gonna ride real nice. Car is absolutely stunning. The chrome in back, all looks fresh. All this is sparkling, the correct FM antenna. Can't wait to show you that red leather and I can't wait to show you that tri-power. Just admire that beautiful black finish on this Corvette Coupe. And you are gonna die when you see this bright red interior. It is killer.
The jams are painted nice and slick. The hardware, the weather strips, the sill plates all look great. Look at the door panels, they're pristine, including the knobs and handles. Beautiful, all nice, bright red, one color red. It's not five shades of red or 50 shades of gray. Uh, 40, almost 4,500 miles on the restoration, but remember the motor, trans, and rear were just rebuilt. All of this is pristine, it all looks like new. The dash pads were replaced. All the gauges work except the clock. Actually, I had it in our notes. My dad put a quartz clock in there, but it must have stopped working. But look how everything's painted and neat and tidy and fresh. The glove box door. You have the owner's manual. All the carpet, kick panels, even floor mats, all in beautiful shape. Air conditioned vents are tucked neatly under the dash. It does have a new retro stereo, uh, new speakers up in there. All this console is beautiful shape, correct reverse lockout shifter, power windows. That's a nice option on a Corvette. Uh, all the plastic and hardware and seat belts, all of it is mint. Now check out these seats. This is genuine soft leather. You all know I get a little creepy when I start touching these leather seats. Uh, nice firm cushions, genuine leather. Flip the lever and we'll move it forward. Looks like it was rubbing right here a little bit, but all this plastic is excellent. All the red carpet going to the back is nice and fresh. And all the red trim up above, all this is in really uh, nice shape. Excellent shape, I should say. Headliner, nice vinyl headliners, probably been replaced. Visors, the mirror, they look new. Steering wheel. Now oh, it does have a crack at the bottom. I was just gonna say no cracks, but there's one there and the start of one right here. Very typical on those. But uh, love this red interior. Fantastic. I sound a little enthusiastic, it's because I am. In my head, I'm sitting here saying, I love this car. Now, uh, look for Michael's test drive videos uh, to show you the car in operation. You can find it on our YouTube channel, or if you go to our website, go to the car. If there's one available, you'll find it there. Uh, so this is a 427, 435 horse motor. The casting codes and dates on the back are correct. Uh, the VIN number matches on the stamp pad, uh, stock manifolds, valve covers, you know, three carburetors. Uh, it does have some fatter plug wires, but does have the ignition shielding. We got power brakes. All the wiring looks fresh. All the proper cooling system. It does have a flex fan upgraded probably with the air conditioning. GM hose. They didn't make air conditioning in a 435 horsepower engine. Uh, so that's why this was added to this car. Uh, same thing over here. You can just see how everything is fresh and clean. The battery's down here where it should be. It has a disconnect on it for when you're parking the car. Uh, just a nice clean motor compartment. Let me verify. Oh, no power steering. It's manual steering. I don't see a power steering box there. Uh, so there you have it. 435 horse tri-power engine. Now let's talk about the underside. So underneath this car is also very clean, raw fiberglass floors. They're not broken or beat up or even repaired that I could see. All the frame and uh, components, chassis components are all solid, painted a nice semi-gloss black. Of course, it's disc brakes at all four wheels. The whole brake system's working properly. <clears throat> You look up at the motor, it was just rebuilt, so it's absolutely fresh looking. Uh, it does have a Muncie four-speed transmission that is also dated and VIN number matched to this car. It has a posi rear end, spare tire carrier is all there and complete. So just look at it. This is the ultimate car. Wouldn't you just be thrilled to be driving this thing down the road, shifting those gears, feeling that power, but yet you've got power windows, leather, air conditioning to keep you comfortable. And this thing's going to turn heads. The only two things you're going to need to do, keep putting gas in it about every 10 minutes and keep wiping it down about every five minutes. Go to volocars.com.
Salesmen can help answer your questions, including how to get this delivered to your door and how to get it financed. Thanks for watching.